collection and today I'm gonna show you how to tie this one. A green ESL strip. A uh, really nice pen in my opinion and I uh, actually tried this one yesterday uh, with success. Got to a uh, seat power and uh, looks great, great in the water. And, uh, I'm sure this is gonna work uh, throughout the rest of the spring and you to try it some more. So I tied a few more and I'm going to show you how to tie it as well. It's similar to the ESL strip I tied recently, but uh, I've got a few improvements uh, to the pattern. The pattern that is inspired by, uh, I was inspired by a friend of mine uh, in Heinfeld, who made a similar one in other colors. And it's so easy to, to tweak the colors and uh, make your own, uh, your own, your own ESL strip. Materials for this one is uh, made with semi seal, uh, semi seal dubbing. And for this one, I'm gonna use the green one, the Coho Chartreuse uh, semi seal, and some uh, spot prong as well, the orange one. And um, the cards going backwards is, is uh, it's, uh, Super Hair in Olive from Flyco. And uh, the thread is a uh, nylon thread. And a pair of uh, extra small, easy strip eyes in super fluorescent orange. And then use a shrimp, shrimp shell from the old sports fisher in, uh, in a, what's it called? The medium size in a such uh, voice color. Yeah. And a bit of flesh. This is a very fresh, creamy, a little bit green in it. I don't know what it's called. Any, any fresh would do it, I reckon. And a, I use a um, pair of East Shrimp Legs. These are called uh, trans, Transparent Dirty Green. They also come in different colors, in a, a clear one and a brown one. No, also an orange one. Today is this one, the green one. And I'm gonna use a bit of uh, cartridge for the mouth parts of the shrimp. And the hook I'm tying this fly on is uh, favorite, the light stinger from Amex in size 6. And uh, I'm gonna cover the strip shell and uh, secure the materials with the uh, different sorts of uh, braid set UV resin. But let's get to it. Here we go. Okay, let's go. I put in my hook, the light stinger, and the thread, uh, the nylon thread. And I've gone uh, back here to the bend, a little bit down the bend actually. And I'm gonna take uh, a couple of feathers from the uh, partridge. We had them already. And uh, I'm just gonna take some of these uh, feathers, fibers. Yeah. Two feathers. I've got some nice bundle of cartridge fibers here. As I said before, I tried this one in the water yesterday. It was nice to come up with a pattern and a color. And to, to I like this, this color combination of the orange and the citrus color, so it was nice. Uh, and then it's time for the semi uh, And I'm gonna go with the, the spot prawn, which is a really nice uh, orange color to it. Kind of a strike pointer. 
I used uh, this is one of the things I've tweaked about the uh, tweak on this uh, uh, flight compared to the other ESL swim I did. Uh, I used uh, semi seal fur on the other one. Uh, well, not semi seal, the seal fur in orange. Uh, as orange uh, strike point as well, but this is a hell of a lot easier to to um, to dub. And I also thought yesterday when I tried it that the seal fur was a bit too long when it got wet. It's all over the place actually. Fish time, I reckon, but to me, it is. So, I'm gonna try with this spot pro and semi suit instead. As the rest of the fly is also tied with semi suit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stop this too hard because I'm gonna comb it out in my comb a little later. Then it's time for the other, uh, other semi seal the co-hosted choice I think it was called also a great color uh, used this one before one of the flies is a nice color this image has just become a favorite of mine as, as a stopping to be honest so many great colors chum fry is nice small belly is really nice and also a uh, one that's called UV Burn Flame. Oh, this one is. This one is really, really nice. Oh, back to this one. So, I think I can the bump of tapping down here now. Uh, then I'm gonna take my brush and just give it a really hard beating the brush all around the hook are all getting all the materials out as much as I can. All the way around. And then it's time for the easy frame legs, uh, the transparent, uh, dirty green ones. And uh, I prepared them in advance for you this time. I cut them out, and, uh, and this time I actually uh, colored the, the legs as well uh, with a sharpie pen. Just a sharpie pen, some, some random black dots here. And I also uh, just to really go all in on this one. Uh, added some orange red sap uh, resin on the here where the leg there is. I don't know if there's anything, but hey, I had time on my hands and I got vacation, so fuck it. Um, but now it's ready. It's actually easier to, to tie in the legs as I'm gonna do now. But I'm gonna tie it in on this little snip of latex up here, just to find the lump of. Uh, but as I was saying, when you tie it in the, the legs, as I'm doing now, and they are secured, it's quite easy to, to um, paint the legs. But it takes a while and it's boring to look at, so I did it in advance. You could just take a haggle tweezers here or haggle pliers. Just pull the legs and color them. It's easy. Well, when they're secured, I'm gonna go a, a few reps around the last set of legs here. Yes, all. Being careful not to to get the legs everywhere because they have a tendency. If I, I could get, go too close, they go go crooked, and uh, I don't want to do that. 
after I've made two uh, turns over the behind the two last set of legs, I'm gonna go forward again and uh, get ready with some eyes. And this is a really, really new ones, uh, ex extra small uh, orange ones from Easy Strip Eyes. And I'm gonna secure those. And you wanna secure those, so I'm gonna turn it the like it. So the eyes align the second set of legs. Yeah, and they bend. That's why you want to have your eyes. So, we're really not securing them much because there's not much left to secure them on, but they don't fall off. Sometimes it's just good to see if the flies. Actually, rides very nice in the water. This one, uh, I was afraid it was it would tilt in the water, um, turn turn over and go the wrong way, but uh, it doesn't. Right, it's very nice in the water. Then I'm gonna secure the eyes a little bit just to be safe. Yeah, a bit, a bit of uh, UV resin here. This is a, a super thin one from here. From the tip. It's just really nice. Go. Snip it. And after that, you're gonna go with all this UV fluorescent stuff going on. After that, you're gonna take some uh, some of your some of your uh, super hair, Flyco from Flyco uh, in olive color. Good. Sorry about that. This is just a sticky punch. Too much. It's like too much. But... Yes. Yes. And I want to make sure this is actually a nice. Yeah, I want to make sure they all, don't all, all have the same length. But when I secure it now, I have tied in. I don't want uh, the ends to be longer than the last set of legs. So, you see, like this. Some of it to help shape the, the, the flies. Uh, yeah, help shape the fly. Tie on top here. Not all of it, just a little bit. It's time for uh, for the flashy stuff. I have so much flash in a box, and none of it is in, in the original bag, so I don't know what this is called. Any of it? But, uh, let's take in from what you like. Super hand. 
this is going fast. We are gonna go in park now. I'm gonna show you another trick I came up with. Um, just a sec. This is the Pro, Frost, Pro Sport Fisher um, shrimp shell in a medium size in choice color. And uh, what I've tried, seen before, experienced before, before is actually with, with, when fishing with a shrimp like this uh, an entire day, sometimes this, this little end of the shrimp shell can break off with all the swish swish and uh, maybe also the fish. So I've tried to improve them a little bit or make them even more durable by turning them around and I'm going to apply a bit of uh, flex, flexible UV resin here on the back side to make them even more durable. So it's a little trick for you there. Be careful not to use too, too, uh, too much of the UV resin uh, and flexible uh, because just if, you just want to have a thin layer of it. Only on the end of the tip of the shrimp. So the rest is gonna be tied in anyway, so that's not gonna break for sure. Uh, gonna sab it. Really not much here. We just uh, I'm not gonna tie this one in order to cut this off because I already already has the the shape I want. Hold on again. Let me see you uh, right in. I'm going to take some more. And, uh, okay. I'm going to let you be sure to make it cone shape so there's a little bit of uh, uh, seam seal here and it gets figured as we go backwards. Or forwards or whatever you call it. In the shell. Take a wrap a around the last of my legs as well, an end up there. And I'm satisfied with the, the shape I, as I am as I'm, uh, now. I'm going to take my swim shoe and put it on top and tie it in. It. 
time for this leap at least. Then you want to take a uh, flexible, uh, I could, I'm of course using the red tab uh, one uh, that's flexible uh, and apply that on the front shelf. And even to a thick layer. easy to tie as well. Looks like a million bucks and you can just make your own version of it. Uh, yeah, that was it. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe for more uh, content and I will see you next time.